Raven, whoa, 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 whoa. Ha, 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 ha. Good job. Oh, Good boy. Our target was five to six miles an hour, but on the first day, we hadn't done anything like that. Been on the go 10 hours. We've done 36 miles. Not good. Not good news. Problem is, we're standing on sea ice. It means it's got salt in it. It's incredibly grippy. The sledge can hardly move. I've been skiing for about nine and a half hours of those 10. I'm broken. With us, of course, things were more civilized. As you know, uh, what I'm trying to do with this mission is prove that Arctic exploration needn't be tough. Which brings me on to the delicate question of number twos. You see, what a traditional polar explorer would do is simply go out there and squat down, like an animal. What I've done, though, is fitted this bumper dumper uh, into the tow bar attachment, and now I'm going to try it out. Oh, that's nippy. James, meanwhile, was on guard duty. James, are you showing off or are you actually looking for bears over there? Because I can't run. <laughs> oh, Bartlett, not on the ropes. Matty? Yeah? How many poos a day do these dogs need to have? <laughs> I'd say two. It's ten. It's ten each, at least. Sometimes I'd look forward to the sledge bogging down so I could get out of the poo stream and run alongside. <laughs> take it up. Meanwhile, James was breaking out the Elevenses. Chocolates. What can I call Chocolates. That one's called Big. I'll have a... Have a big. Now, I should say, if you're watching this, this is not just gluttony. We genuinely have been told by experts that if you are trekking across the Arctic, you need 5,000 calories a day. So we're only really too happy to shove that much in. I'm not certain when they told, it, told us that we needed 5,000 calories a day that we would in a slightly warm car sitting down, but better to be safe. After our morning snack, James found my Jesus. Why have you brought Jesus? What? Why have you brought Jesus? But Jesus, I thought, could sit in the car and guide us in our hours of need if we ever have one. He's a Jesus action figure. He is. There's a map on the back here to guide From us. Galilee. I was now back on the skis and starting to get the hang of it. Today, Richard, you've got to learn how to pee on the move. Pee on the move? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not in. Matty! We, meanwhile, had reached the vast, uninhabited wilderness of Bathurst Island and were going, if anything, even faster. over Hammond kept getting bigger and bigger. He is the plucky Brit, and like all plucky Brits, he's going to come in second. I was now over 50 miles behind, but Matty had come up with a plan. We know we haven't got the edge on speed, so we need to use tactics. This is what we're going to do. It's now about 8 o'clock at night. We've run all day. We've made brilliant progress. We're going to put these guys to bed, hence we've chained them all up. They're going to have a sleep. They're only going to do so for about three hours. Then we'll get up again, and then we can run at night. It's cooler for the dogs. They prefer it, and they love the colder temperatures, because they can run faster and harder. And so, in the early hours of the morning, when the temperature had dropped to minus 35, 
we roused the dogs and ran. The silence is beautiful. Then, suddenly... <laughs> Well, I think they caught our scent earlier on in the day, followed our tracks, but whether or not it's just hanging around and it's picked up the scent now as it comes downwind. As I was pinned down by the bear, Team G and T were getting underway. Clarkson! I know it's you, you insufferable oaf. I'm on the bloody throne! We ate up the miles and discussed how we'd celebrate when we made the poll. See, of all the things you could have brought, champagne, whatever it might be, you've brought a tin of Spam. Yes. And then we, too, encountered a bear. Oh, it's got babies! Sweet! Not being Attenborough, I couldn't think of anything else to say. So we set off, and with a bit of divine guidance... I am the vine, you are the branches. If a man remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruit. We made it uneaten to the other side of the island. It's very beautiful. I mean, look at that. It's not bad, is it? Mm -mm. Absolutely a 